Hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today I'm showing you how to do a an SFC scan. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I've been having kind of bug issues or end up shutdowns and windows but uh, hopefully this will help. I have a funny feeling there's something wrong with the system files. The first things first though, you should create a restore point or a backup. Um, it only takes a couple of seconds so it might be a bit longer for the backup, but the restore point only takes a minute or two, so it'll be worthwhile doing in case something went wrong or you had any issues. So that said, uh, just press Windows X. Do command prompt admin, say yes, and the prompt comes up. And then in here, I want to run if you put um, SFC forward slash and you put scan. Now in, it'll scan and fix it. What I do is I tend to run a verify and find out if there is an issue. And if there is an issue, then I'll run a scan DISM. Um, the reason I do that is because the scan now uses cached files in the Windows image to fix any corruptions or any issues. But if it itself is corrupted, um, you go through all that trouble of waiting for it to scan and try and fix, but it's actually and um, just drawn over more corrupted files so it doesn't actually fix it so what i do is i run a verify only and this can take a little while so i'll let it run through and uh, pause it and then i'll come back if we find any issues okay guys it's finished its scan and as you can see it has found some violations so I'm just going to still do the DISM uh, on the Windows system image just to see if there is anything in there as well. So um, to do that, I'm going to type it out. I'll just show you. I'll just have to copy and paste it in there. So you just have to write DISM. Now you can put .exe at the back of that if you like, but it'll still run it. So DISM, all caps, and then space, forward slash, caps, so online, in space forward slash cleanup capital C dash image and then um, forward slash and in here then it's whatever you wanted to do so at the moment I'm just going to go scan health but you can have check health or restore health is the one that fixes it if there's any issues just going to say scan health so scan health and um, I'm happy to just hit enter and it'll run through its so very same as the uh, SFC. And it'll check. Take a little while. Um, I'll just show you this bit. Pop up. Look like there's nothing happening for a while. Okay, as you can see, and it'll go through the same thing, and it'll detect if there's any crop files in the Windows system image. And um, if there's not, then we go back and we'll run our scan now. Hopefully that will fix the integrity violations. I might have to come back in here and run the DISM, but run the restore health. But we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, the DISM scan is finished and it's found no components, corruptions detected. So it's going to save me having to run a restore health. So now what I want to do is back to where we were starting before and do a SFC scan now. And hopefully that will fix the integrity violations. Let's see. Don't know what the hell happened there. Again, no. Same again, guys. I'm going to have to just pause this while it goes through the motions. And I'll come back to you and we'll see what's on it. Guys, it's finished doing it. Scan now. And it's saying it's um, found it corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So hopefully that'll, um, hopefully that'll do it. What I do is I'm going to restart my system. And then I will run through and I'll do another scan verify. Just to make sure everything's good. If it is. Hopefully it will have fixed all my issues and any you are having. So if you liked the video, hit the like, subscribe if you want guys and I will talk to you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.